Deutsche Welle or DW is Germany's international broadcaster. The service is aimed towards audiences outside of Germany and is available via television, radio and the internet. DW Radio broadcasts news and information in 30 languages and the satellite television service consists of channels in English, German, Spanish, and Arabic. DW All also offers regularly updated articles on its online news website and runs its own Center for International Media Development, DW Academy. The broadcaster's stated goals are to convey Germany as a liberal, democratic state based on the rule of law, to produce reliable news coverage and to provide access to the German language. Deutsche Welle has been broadcasting since 1953. It is headquartered in Bonn, where its radio programs are produced. Television broadcasts are produced almost entirely in Berlin. The responsibility for DW's news website is shared between the two locations. Around 3,000 people work for Deutsche Welle in over 60 countries. According to DW, its output reaches 100 million people worldwide every week. The broadcaster's director-general is Peter Limburg. History Deutsche Welle's first shortwave broadcast took place on 3 May 1953 with an address by the then West German president, Theodore Hughes. On of June 1953, the public broadcasters in the Yard signed an agreement to share responsibility for Deutsche Welle. At first, it was controlled by Nordwest Deutsche Rundfunk. In 1955, when this split into the separate Norddeutsche Rundfunk, and West Deutsche Rundfunk, which assumed responsibility for Deutsche Welle programming. In 1960, Deutsche Welle became an independent public body after a court ruled that broadcasting from Germany was part of the federal government's foreign affairs function. On 7 June 1962 DW joined ARD as a national broadcasting station. Deutsche Welle had been headquartered in the West German city of Cologne until after reunification, when much of the government relocated to Berlin and the station moved to those vacated buildings in Bonn. Logos. Dot. Broadcast languages German reunification with German reunification in 1990. Radio Berlin International of East Germany ceased to exist. Some of the staff of RBI joined Deutsche Welle and it inherited some broadcasting apparatus, including the transmitting facilities at Nauen, as well as RBI's frequencies. DW began as Rias TV, a television station launched by the West Berlin broadcaster Rias in August 1988. The fall of the Berlin Wall the following year and German reunification in 1990 meant that Rias TV was to be closed down. On 1 April 1992, Deutsche Welle inherited the Rias TV broadcast facilities, using them to start a German and English language television channel broadcast via satellite, DW, adding a short Spanish broadcast segment the following year. In 1995, it began 24-hour operation. At that time, DW introduced a new news studio and a new logo. Deutsche Welle took over some of the former independent radio broadcasting service Deutschlandfunk's foreign language programming in 1993, when Deutschlandfunk was absorbed into the new Deutschland radio. In addition to radio and television programming, DW sponsored some published material. For example, the South Asia Department published German Heritage, a series written for the South Asia program in 1967 and in 1984 published African Writers on the Air. Both publications were transcripts of DW programming. World Wide Web Presence In September 1994, Deutsche Welle was the first public broadcaster in Germany with a World Wide Web Presence, initially www.dw, GMD, de, hosted by the GMD Information Technology Research Center. For its first two years, the site listed little more than contact addresses, 
Although DW's news journal was broadcast in real audio from Reel's server beginning in 1995, and the Süddeutsche Zeitung's initial web presence, which included news articles from the newspaper, shared the site. Around 1998, it evolved into a news website under the URL Dweller. Duh. In 2001, the URL later changed to www.dwworld. Duh. And switched to www.dw. Duh. In 2012, Deutsche Welle purchased the dw.com URL, which previously belonged to Diamondware. In 2013, DW had attempted to claim ownership of the address in 2000, without success. DW eventually moved to www.dw.com domain on the 22nd of June 2015. The internet news site offers daily exclusive coverage in seven core languages, as well as a mixture of news and information in 23 other languages corresponding to Deutsche Welle's radio programs. Persian became the site's eighth focus language in 2007. German and European News are DW's central focus, but the site also offers background information regarding Germany and German language courses. Recent events In 2001, Deutsche Welle founded the German TV subscription TV channel for North American viewers. The project was shut down after four years owing to low subscriber numbers. It has since been replaced by the DWTV channel. Unlike most other international broadcasters, DWTV does not charge terrestrial stations for use of its programming, and as a result, its news journal and other programs are rebroadcast on numerous public broadcasting stations in several countries, including the United States, Australia, and New Zealand. In the Philippines, it is shown nationwide on Net25. Deutsche Welle is still suffering from financial and staffing cuts. Its budget was reduced by about 75 million euros over five years, and of the 2,200 employees it had in 1994, only 1,200 remain. Further cuts are still expected. In 2003, the German government passed a new Deutsche Welle law, which defined DW as a tri-media organization, making the Deutsche Welle website an equal partner with DWTV and DW Radio. The website is available in 30 languages, but focuses on German, English, Spanish, Russian, Brazilian, Portuguese, Chinese, and Arabic. Persian became the eighth focus language in 2007. In March 2009, DWTV expanded its television services in Asia with two new channels, namely DWTV Asia and DWTV Asia Plus. DWTV Asia contains 16 hours of German programming and 8 hours in English, whilst DWTV Asia Plus contains 18 hours of English programs plus 6 hours of German programs. In August 2009, DWTV's carriage in the United Kingdom on Sky Channel 794 ceased, although the channel continues to be available via other European satellites receivable in the UK. In 2011, DW announced a major reduction of service including the closure of most of its FM services in the Balkans, but that it would expand its network of FM partners in Africa. The radio production for Hausa, Kiswahili, French, and Portuguese for Africa were optimized for FM broadcasts and DW also produces a regional radio magazine daily in English, to be rebroadcast broadcast by partners in Africa. Audio content in Arabic is distributed online, via mobile, or rebroadcast by partners. DW announced it would focus on FM partnerships for Bengali, Urdu, Dari, Pashto, and Indonesian for South Asia, India, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. On 1 November 2011, DW discontinued shortwave broadcasts in German, Russian, Persian, and Indonesian and ended its English service outside of Africa.
Chinese programming was reduced from 120 minutes to 60 minutes a week. As of November 2011, DW only broadcast radio programming via shortwave in Amharic, Chinese, Dari, English and French for Africa, Hausa, Kiswahili, Pashto, Portuguese for Africa and Urdu. Rebranding Television News On the 22nd of June 2015, DWTV launched a 24-hour English-language news channel with a new design and a new studio as part of a rebrand to DW News. Previously, DW's news programs were called Journal and broadcast in English in 3, 15 and 30-minute blocks. The new channel offers 30-minute updates every hour and 60-minute programs programs twice a day on weekdays. DW News broadcasts from Berlin but frequently has live social media segments hosted from a specially designed studio in Bonn. The German, Spanish and Arabic channels also received a new design. At the same time, DW's news website moved from a the URL to com and added a social media stream to its front page. The refreshed DW services were launched under the tagline, Made for Minds, Shortwave Relay Stations. Domestic shortwave relay stations transmitter sites. The Julich radio transmitter site began operation in 1956 with 11 100 kilowatts telephone and transmitters. The Wurtachtel site was authorized in 1972 and began service with four 500 kilowatts transmitters. By 1989 there were 15 transmitters, four of which relayed the voice of America. The Nauen transmitter site was inherited from Radio Berlin International. RBI's Russian made three 500 kilowatts and one 100 kilowatts transmitters were replaced by four telephone and 500 kilowatts transmitters and four rotatable antennas. Today Deutsche Welle no longer uses any of the transmitters based in Germany. External shortwave relay stations Trincomale, Sri Lanka sold to Sri Lanka Broadcasting Cooperation three times 250 kilowatts short wave transmitters, 1 times 400 kilowatts medium wave transmitter 20 antennas. Kigali, Rwanda. A relay station in Kigali, Rwanda, was inaugurated on 30 August 1963, and provided coverage for Africa. This relay station closed March 28, 2015. 4 times 250 kilowatts shortwave transmitters. Signs Portugal closed on the 30th of October 2011 and was due to be dismantled after a few months. 3 times 250 kilowatts shortwave transmitters. DW used a relay station in Malta had 3 SW and 1 600 kilowatts MW transmitter and gave partial coverage of the Americas, Southern Asia and the Far East. It was inaugurated on 29 July 1974 in exchange for a grant of almost £1 million British pounds. The station closed in January 1996. Formerly, DW shared a transmitting station on Antigua in the Caribbean with the BBC. It was inaugurated on 1 November 1976 and closed on 31 March 2005. It had a relay exchange with the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation that allowed DW to use two 250 kilowatts transmitters in Sackville, New Brunswick until the facility closed in 2012. Relay stations leasing transmitter time to DW. In 2013, DW leased time on the following relay stations, Wurfferton, United Kingdom, Kranji, Singapore, Dabir, United Arab Emirates, Nakhon Sawin, Thailand, Ascension Island, Myerton, South Africa, Directors General, 12 October 1960-29 February 1968, Hans Otto Wessermann, 1 March 1968-29 February 1980, Walter Stenner, 1 March 1982 8 December 1980, Conrad Arles.
The 19th of December 1980 to 30 June 1981, Heinz Philhauer. The 1st of July 1981 to 30 June 1987, Klaus Schutz. The 1st of July 1987 to 30 June 1989, Heinz Philhauer. The 1st of July 1989 to 31 March 2001, Dieter Weirich. The 1st of April 2001 to 30 September 2001, Reinhard Hartstein. The 1st of October 2001 to 30 September 2013, Eric Bettermann. The 1st of October 2013 present, Peter Lindbergh, DW Services, DW, Shortwave, Cable TV, Satellite and Digital Radio Broadcasting in 29 languages, with a 24-hour service in German and English. DW, satellite television broadcasting mainly in German, English, Arabic and Spanish, www, DW, com, 30 language news website, DW Academy, DW Academy is Deutsche Wells International Center for Media Development, Media Consulting and Journalism Training, it offers training and consulting services to partners around the world. It works with broadcasting stations, media organizations, and universities especially in developing and transition countries to reinforce free and independent media. The work is funded mainly by the German Federal Ministry of Economic Cooperation and Development. DW Academy's journalism traineeship is an 18-month program for young journalists that provides editorial training in the three areas in which Deutsche Welle produces content, radio, television and online. It is aimed at aspiring journalists from Germany as well as from regions to which Deutsche Welle broadcasts. The master's program, International Media Studies, offered in cooperation with the University of Bonn and the University Bonn Rhein-Sieg of Applied Sciences is based at DW Academy. The four-semester program combines the disciplines media development, media regulation, and communications. The seminars are held in English and German and the degree is aimed at media representatives from developing and transition countries. The managing director of DW Academy is Gerda Moore, who has worked as a journalist for different media outlets and as a correspondent for Interpress Service a news agency focused on development issues.